Hey everyone, have you ever had a headache so bad it feels like a storm is raging inside of your skull? The answer is yes, you are not alone. In fact, you're one of millions of people around the world that suffer with migraines, a topic that we're going to dive into today. Now there's a twist, as it turns out the mystery to unlocking migraine relief may come from the spine. I'm Dr. Jeff Allgaier and I'm here to help you explore this fascinating topic. So let's solve this mystery together and help you turn the tide on migraines. Okay, so what are migraines? Well, migraines are a debilitating type of headache that typically we get on one side of our head or another. We typically experience sensations like pounding, clenching. There's often other symptoms associated with like nausea, increased sensitivity to light or sound. It's completely debilitating and these headaches can last for hours, even up to a few days. So what exactly causes a migraine. When I was in school, so over 15 years ago, we were taught that migraines were basically caused by blood vessels in the brain spasming or restricting blood flow and that this would produce the symptoms of pain. It's called the vascular theory. Now as it turns out with new research and new understanding, although there might be a component of that, it seems like the cause of migraines is actually overexcited neurons in the brain that release hormones and chemicals like serotonin that create a hypersensitivity to pain, light, you know, other sensations like sound. The parts of the brain become hyper excited and we sense things easier, feel pain easier. There is some blood flow restriction that does happen with that, but that doesn't seem to be the main cause. It does seem to be linked to actually the neurons in the brain and this over excitement of neurons, this neurologic storm that happens up in the brain. Okay, so what can we do about it and can chiropractic care help? So we're gonna talk about chiropractic care because this is where with this new understanding of, of how the nervous system is actually playing the biggest role into creating these migraines. This is really where chiropractic shines. You know, chiropractic isn't just about pain in the back or the neck. It's about all about the nervous system. Your brain is the computer that's running your body and there's this constant flow of information up and down the spinal cord that the spine protects. And that's really the role of chiropractic is to make sure that the spine is aligned and moving correctly so that there's normal activity, that normal flow of information between the brain and the body. Subluxations are a term that we used to describe when one or more of the vertebrae get stuck or get out of alignment and that all alters the nervous system's ability to control and relay information between the brain and the body. And it does seem that there's research that shows that people who, with migraines who are getting adjusted for subluxations, getting their subluxations corrected, notice a significant decrease in the frequency and the severity of migraines. And so subluxations tend to overexcite parts of the nervous system and they turn off other parts of the nervous system. And these subluxations usually are found in the upper neck. And so when we have a patient with migraines, we take very close x-rays of the upper neck. Our analysis focuses on that upper neck so we can see if there's any distortions up there that we can correct that normalize that neurologic activity that is traveling up to the brain. It's not just about stopping information coming down, it's even affects the information going up to the brain that may be a causative factor in creating an overexcited, you know, brain function that is now that we think is the cause of migraines. So what else can be done to help with migraines? Well, again, because we understand that the nervous system seems to be the biggest factor here in creating migraines, an overexcited nerve system, we have to try and figure out are there lifestyle factors that are contributing or irritating the nervous system and maybe not solely causing, but at least exacerbating what's happening with the frequency of migraines. And this can be different for every person because we all respond to stress differently, but there are things like diet. We do know for sure that there are certain chemicals that people can or shouldn't eat that may excite the nervous system, getting enough sleep at night. We absolutely know that when your nervous system, when we don't get enough sleep, the nervous system becomes irritated. We tend to shift into a fight or, fight or flight and some people are really sensitive to this and this can be a trigger uh, for migraines. There's even things like weather changes and, and pressure changes that these, these are all things that can irritate the nervous system and can trigger migraines. So those are just a few things. Diet and stress levels, I forgot to mention. Stress levels is another big thing. If we're going through mental stress in our life, that can totally totally irritate that nervous system or create a, a fight or flight dominant, sympathetic dominant, irritated nervous system that can lead to migraines. So a lot of our care, a lot of stuff that we can do, again, outside of chiropractic care, would be to look at things in our life to help calm the nervous system down. Stop taking away the toxins in our life that are irritating the nerve system and can trigger that, whether it's nutrition, so things like gluten for people, too much caffeine, um, different things like that. There are chemicals in plants like nightshades sometimes that can trigger things. Um, again, getting enough sleep, environmental changes, that's really hard to control. Uh, but managing our stress levels, doing things like uh, acupuncture, yoga, meditation, prayer, all things to help that we can do to help calm the body down can be extremely beneficial in relaxing the nervous system. 
uh, to help minimize the amount of stress that it's under, which will prevent the flare-ups in that excitability up in the brain. So that's where research is, is kind of leading now into looking into those areas. And so I encourage you to try some of those out. One of the things I would recommend is that you look at is there certain times of month for females? A lot of hormone changes can cause a flare up in migraine activity. You know, is it with sleep patterns, weather changes? You gotta get to know your own body. So I would encourage you to create a journal that you can write down when you're getting migraines uh, and maybe some things that you think might be triggering that, uh, which can help you get a handle on, you know, what my sensitivities, I don't get migraines, thank God, but you know, what is an irritant to my body may not be the same as the person next to me. And so you have to understand what those are and making sure that you're dealing with those that are specific to you it might work for someone else, but it might, you know, getting rid of gluten might not be your trigger, you know. So um, getting to know yourself and experimenting a little bit uh, would be a big thing. So in closing, if you are one of the millions of people around the world that deals with migraines, just know that you are not alone. And although this is a complex issue and there's a lot of factors, just know that you know, if you start to implement little things, consider chiropractic care as a part of your journey with this, not just for symptomatic relief of the headaches, but to get to that nerve system, the root cause and help calm that nerve system down. And then pair that with lifestyle things that we talked about. Try and figure out where you're the weakest and start to make corrections with those lifestyle things and see how that goes to get to the root cause of this. You want to make sure that you're focusing on the right stuff so that you get the best results. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to us, let us know, follow our videos, like our social media pages. We do these videos all the time. Uh, we're here to help you stay healthy, stay informed.